Greetings to you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're studying together Luke 24, and we're looking at the elder son that stayed home. And remember, we studied the prodigal that left, but what about that prodigal that stayed at home? And to me, he's a type of a church member uh, that tries to live a good life, but has never met grace, never been saved, didn't understand his father's heart, didn't understand his father's love. And didn't know, understand how to have fellowship with his father. Didn't know how to receive from his father. But you know there's a lot of Christians today, and I lived that way for many years, and didn't know how to receive from the father, because I didn't know how to worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, we talk about worship songs and worship teams and worship groups and, and going into worship. But what is worship? Worship is learning to bow down and worship the father to admire him to enjoy him, to thank him, and to praise him without wanting something in return, but just to be in his presence. In his presence is fullness of joy. Here's two promises he's made to us that I know I can think off the top of my head. One of them is in uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. The Bible says, He that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that what? Diligently seek him. And then he tells us in Jeremiah chapter 23 uh, that he says that, uh, and you shall seek me and you shall find me when you what? Search for me for me with all of your heart. And then he give us the pro gave us the promise, I will be found of you. He desires to be found of us. He desires for us to come into his presence through the precious blood of Jesus Christ into the holiest of holies to have fellowship with the Father. He's your daddy, amen? The Bible calls him Abba Father Tati, amen? That's why you say it in Romanian, Tati. Now, let's take our, and read our text today. And I will have to go back a little bit and talk about the, uh, the younger son so you'll understand some more about the elder son. But let's start off with the elder son here this morning. Now, I've noticed our text here in Luke chapter 15 and verse 25. It says this, uh, Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came to draw nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. Now I want you to notice some things about this elder brother, and see if it doesn't remind you of some people that you've met down through the years that are religious, but they have no love in them, have no joy in them. They're just kind of religious. Amen. They're there, and it's all about duty, and it's all about business for God, and there's not much fellowship going on. Amen. With, between them and the Father. Now, notice what it says in verse 28. said he was angry. I like this right here. said he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answered and said unto his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed at any time thy commandments, and yet thou never gave me a kid. Now he didn't give his other son a kid either, he gave him a fatted calf. You know what a kid is? A kid's a goat. This guy, the elder son that stayed home, he never even got a goat. Amen. You know why he didn't get it? He never asked for it. He didn't have fellowship with the father and didn't believe he was uh, worthy of it, I guess that I might make merry with my friends. And I know it's verse 30 here. This is a good one here. I like this very much. But as soon as this thy son, he didn't say my brother, he said thy son. See, he disowned him as his brother. This thy son was come, which hath devoured thy, devoured thy living with harlots. Look, he had to bring it up again, dig up all the old bad sturdy sins on his brother. Thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, this is the father speaking, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive and was lost and is found. Now notice some of the things about these scriptures. I want to show you something about this, son, before we read any more down. Uh, or, or read any more about that. I want you to notice the reaction, the older son's reaction. What was it in verse 28? He was very angry. Oh, yes. He was angry and wouldn't go in. You know why he wouldn't go in? Because actually in his heart, he thought he deserved that and not his younger brother. 
You see, this is what people don't understand grace. They think they have to do something or give something to get God's favor in return. That's not grace. That's works. And tomorrow, I'm going to pick up from right here and show you some more of what we're talking about. The difference between grace and works of trying to please God with your good works. In Jesus' name, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.